So I'm sure you clicked on this video expecting a very detailed and in-depth review of the jet, but I can just tell you right now that that would be a waste of my time and your time watching it, along with it being a waste of your time of even buying this jet. Do not buy this jet. Almost $7 million for this jet. If you look on the screen, this is the time to kill that the jet has to offer. It is garbage. It is horrible. If you were to waste your money on this jet, you are going to be very, very, very disappointed. It does have one unique feature where it can go off the radar. It can go into this little ghost form. But while you're in that mode, you can't shoot at anybody, which makes it kind of pointless. I mean, yeah, you can fly around off radar. Cool. But just go passive mode. Like, what is the point? Next up, let's talk about the fire rate on this thing. It is garbage. It's garbage. If you look up on screen, I want to let you guys know now that I am a very experienced pilot on GTA Online. I have done dogfights, and I've done a lot of free mode stuff that included fighting with jets. I've been playing this game since release, since midnight release, actually. So I'm speaking from a high level of experience with these jets that this jet is garbage. If you look on the screen, I'm struggling to kill civilian vehicles on the highway. It is so difficult to hit your shots with this jet. And the only way to hit your shots with this jet is to go into hover mode. But the problem by going into hover mode is that you're going to get killed by a homing launcher because this is GTA Online and you need to be realistic about the situation. $7 million down the drain buying this jet. I'm sure that there's going to be people on YouTube that are going to make these fully stretched out and elongated videos going in depth about how this is better or this is worse than the laser. I'm just going to not waste your time and make this as quick as possible. Do not buy this jet. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time and don't waste your energy. It looks great aesthetically and it does have a VTOL mode, but don't just don't just don't. The VTOL mode has super awkward controls. The jet, although it's really, really fast, you could get across the map faster just by calling in an oppressor. Oh, and should I also add in that this is a hangar vehicle, meaning that you cannot call it through Pegasus. So if you're all the way up in the north of the map, good luck. This is possibly the biggest waste of money in GTA Online. If you gave me $7 million on a GTA account and pointed me in a direction to buy something, I would recommend buying the yacht before I would recommend buying this jet. And a lot of people hate the yacht. The yacht gets a lot of hate, but at least with the yacht, you can call some strippers over, party with your friends, chill out by the jacuzzi. You can have a good time with the yacht. You know, there's a little bit of fun to be had. At least with the yacht, you'll have a way to make your money back by doing piracy prevention. This right here is not going to help you in any content in the game. It's gonna be difficult to kill cops. It's gonna be difficult to kill the military. It's gonna be difficult to kill Meriwether and players. It's so hard to hit any shots on on this jet and when you do hit shots on the jet as you see on the screen it's taking me six seven eight nine shots to kill a player and no this player was not using bull shark he had no body armor he was just standing still i, I tested it on my friend it takes so many shots to kill someone in this jet. It's unrealistic. I understand that Rockstar wants to nerf the jets and tone down the griefing a little bit, but this jet for $7 million is going to get you nothing. You will not get any kills. You will not have a good time with this jet. Save your money, be safe, and avoid the long 30 minute, 20 minute long reviews of this jet where people cover it and try to waste your time. As I promise you, this is the truth. Don't buy it. If you look at the clips on screen, you'll see. And that is all. I'll have another video up today about the gun because I also purchased the gun. I'm sorry that this wasn't a fully in-depth and detailed review of the jet, but I just decided not to waste your time because Rockstar clearly wants you to waste your time by grinding up $7 million to spend it on something that's basically just a jet that you can fly around in off the radar, which is, but you can't shoot anybody. So it's basically just passive mode. Don't buy this.